Hi judges, welcome to another segment of One Our Liwag Memorial High School Senior High School Math TV. Last time we were able to define an ellipse and to solve problems and equations involving an equation of an ellipse. We're also able to give the coordinates of the center, the foci, the vertices, and the covertices. Today we will continue what we have discussed last time. So we now have here problem number six, and for problem number six, we're asked to give this, the coordinates of the center, the foci, the vertices, and covertices of the ellipse with this equation. So we are given here x plus three quantity squared all over 24 plus y minus five quantity squared over 49 is equal to one. This is an equation of an ellipse because the right side is equal to one. But let us first um, get or let us first know if the major axis is vertical or horizontal. So based on the given denominator, we could say that 49 is greater than 24 and it is with y. Okay. Therefore, it now takes the form x minus h quantity squared over b squared. Therefore, b squared is 24 plus y minus k quantity squared over a squared since a squared is the biggest or the longest among the three quantities therefore that is 49 let us now try to get the value of c okay so how do we get the value of c based on this one therefore we'll be having a squared is equal to 49 therefore a is equal to therefore a is equal to plus minus 7 Okay, so for the next one, we'll be having b squared. b squared is equal to 24. Therefore, b is equal to plus minus 2 square root of 6. And since we need to graph this one, we'll now be getting its decimal form. Therefore, this is equal to 4.9. So that is plus minus 4.9. So we're now ready to get the value of c for the foci. Always remember that for A, it contains the vertices. For B, it contains the co-vertices. And for the foci, that is C, therefore C is equal to the square root of A squared minus B squared. So for A squared minus B squared, we'll now be having the square root of 49 minus 24. And what is the square root of 49 minus 24? C now is equal to the square root of 25. Therefore, C is equal to plus minus Okay, so now we're now ready to gather the information needed. We're now ready to identify the center, the foci, the vertices, and the co-vertices. For the center, okay, for the center, therefore the center is located at HK. And the center now is negative 3 and positive 5. I hope this is clear. So this is very easy. So just look at the given and you'll be ready to identify the center. And for the foci, and for the foci, since this is major vertical axis, again, this is major vertical axis, therefore, it is, um, the ellipse will somehow look like this one. So, it goes larger in the y axis. Therefore, um, the y uh, axis will contain the foci and the vertices or the vertices and the foci will lie on the y axis not just in the y axis but the axis is parallel to the y axis so we have the center negative 3 negative 5 therefore the formula for the foci would be h k plus minus c why this one since this is major vertical axis. We are adding and subtracting to the y coordinate of the center. I hope this is clear. Therefore, I have here F1. So when we say F1, that is age k minus c. F2 is age k plus c. Therefore, if I have here F1, so age is now, age is, what is our age? Our age is negative 3. What is our k? Our k is 5 plus minus. What is the value of c? That is 5. Therefore, f1 is equal to negative 3. That is 0. 
and F2 now is equal to negative 3, 5 plus 5, that is 10. So these are the coordinates of the foci. How about for the vertices, V? For the vertices B, therefore our formula would be HK plus minus A. Therefore, V1 is equal to HK minus A. And V2 would be HK plus A. Okay, you will ask me, Sir, is it okay if I interchange plus and minus for this one? Yes, it is okay. So, let's continue. So, for the verti vertices, so V1, our age now, the, for the vertices, we'll be having, what is our age? Negative 3. What is our K? Our K is 5. Plus, minus. What is the value of A? 7. Therefore, V1 will be located at age 5. 5 minus 7, that is negative 2. Our age is negative 3. 5 minus 7 is negative 2. Therefore, that is V1. And for our V2, that is negative 3. 5 plus 7, that is 12. So, the vertices will be located at coordinates negative 3, negative 2. V2, negative 3, positive 12. Okay, and for the co-vertices, that is W. So, for the co-vertices, W. Therefore, we will now be changing the value of x, h, k plus minus b, and k. So, I will just write here the, um, the co-vertices, w, that is h plus minus b, and k. Okay? So, w1 is located at h plus, let's say this is minus b, k, and w2 is located at h plus b, k. So, we'll be having, what is our age? Our age is negative 3. Our B is plus minus 4.9. And our K is 5. Therefore, W1 is located at negative 3 plus, min uh, negative 3 plus minus 4.9. So, for W1, we'll be having negative 7.9. This should be negative 7.9 and 5. And for W2, we'll be having positive 1.9 and 5. So these are the coordinates of the center, the foci, the vertices, and the co-vertices. So for the center, it is located at negative 3 and positive 5. So this is our center. The endpoints of the foci are located at negative 3, 0. So this is the center. This is F1. Our F2 is located at negative 3, 10. Negative 3, 10. So this is our F2. Our vertices are located at negative 3, negative 2, negative 3, negative 2. So this is F1. This is V. This is V1. And for our V2, that is negative 3 and positive 12. Negative 3 and positive 12. So this is our V2. And for our co-vertices, we'll be having W1, negative 7.9. So, this is negative 7.9 and 5. So, negative 7.9 and 5. This is our W1. And we also have our co-vertices, 2, W2, that is located at 1.9. So, 1.9, 1 1.9 and 5. So, this is W2. So this is now our ellipse. So this is the graph of the given ellipse. So the equation of the ellipse now is x plus 3 quantity squared over 24 plus y minus 5 quantity squared over 49 is equal to 1. Remember that this ellipse contains major vertical axis. This is major vertical.